Hi y'all. Thanks so much for joining me on this channel, Adults ESL Online Learning. I'm Dr. Hernandez Smith. In this video, we are going to discuss Section 7, Graphic Communications. Objectives, Vocabulary, What is Graphic Communications, Printed Communications, Communicating through Photography, Drafting, the universal language. Objectives. List the principles of design. Describe the different printing processes. Compare and Compare and contrast film and digital photography. Explain why drafting is referred to as the universal language. Vocabulary. Number one, graphic communications. Number two, principles of design. Number three, digital workflow. Number four, holography. Number five, computer-aided drafting, CAD. Number six, rapid prototyping. Number one, graphic communications. The technology field focused on sending messages and other information using visual means. Number two, principles of design. The formal rules that guide the design process. Number three, digital workflow. The use of computers in each stage of the design process. Number four, holography, the use of lasers to record realistic images of three-dimensional objects. Number five, computer-aided drafting, CAD, the use of a computer system to produce technical drawings and or design a product. Number six, Rapid prototyping. The use of 3D CAD drawings to create real models of a product within a short time. What is graphic communications? Graphic communications is the field of technology that involves the sending of messages and other information using visual means. Principles of design. A good design captures the attention of the intended reader or viewer. It effectively communicates a message and leaves a lasting impression. Designers must consider how a design will be used. They must think about the function of the design. Many factors can have an impact on the effectiveness of a design. When designing a graphic message, the principles of design can be used to help determine the effectiveness of the design. Balance. The visual weight of images in a design is referred to as balance. Some designs are symmetrical or formally balanced. Proportion. This size relationship of the various parts of a design is referred to as proportion. The sizes of type drawings and photographs are all considered 
carefully. Emphasis. Emphasis refers to techniques used to call attention to certain parts of the message. The designer wants the viewer to especially notice important parts of the message. Variety. Adding different elements to a design creates variety. Variety adds interest. Rhythm. Rhythm addresses eye movement and flow. It can be accomplished by repeating elements. Unity or harmony refers to the overall effect of the design. If all aspects of the design appear to belong together and work well together, the design has unity. The creative design process. The first three steps of a typical creative design process often start the creative design process. Most designs start out as thumbnail sketches. Some designers then make rough layouts of the design that are most appealing or functional. After making a more comprehensive layout, the design's final form must be prepared. For some printed products, designers create a mechanical, which is also called camera-ready art or a paste-up. Digital Workflow Digital workflow is the use of computers for each stage design process. Sometimes this process is called desktop publishing or electronic page composition. Using computers for page layout makes it much easier to combine text with photos and illustrations. The design process still relies on the creative and artistic skills of designers. However, digital technology has greatly affected how these designers produce their ideas and speed at which they work. Printed communications. Sometimes graphic messages are distributed electronically via email, web pages, cell phones, or other means. Several stages are involved in the printing process. Because digital workflow has streamlined many of these stages, it is now much easier to turn an idea into a printed product. Printing can be done in a number of ways. Generally, Printing techniques are grouped according to the type of printing surface used. Major groups of printing processes include relief printing. Relief printing processes are methods that print from a raised surface. 
letterpress is a very old form of relief printing in which reverse images of all the characters are formed into metal type. Ink is rolled over the raised type, then paper is pressed on the type to transfer the image. Porous printing. A porous material has many small openings, pores, that allow liquids to pass through. In porous printing processes, ink or dye is passed through an image plate or stencil and transferred onto the substrate. The most common porous printing process is serigraphy. Planographic printing. Any process that involves the transfer of a message from a flat surface is called planographic printing. Offset lithography is the most popular planography planographic printing method. Many books, newspapers, brochures, and stationary products are created this way. Gravure printing. Gravure or intaglio, intaglio printing is the exact opposite of relief printing. In gravure printing, images are transferred from plates that have sunken areas. The images are etched or carved into the surface with computer control devices or lasers. Each plate has many tiny holes called cells that when combined form the shape of the letters, symbols, and other design elements. These cells are filled with ink and the surface is wiped to remove ink from the non-image areas. Then paper is forced against the plate. The paper absorbs the ink. The image transferred, transferred to the paper is the identical form of the engraved image on the plate. Electrostatic printing. Many offices and quick printing companies use electrostatic, electrostatic printing processes. Copier machines, elect, electrostatic printing is based on the principle that opposite electrical charges attract whereas like charges repel. Basically, when an original is placed on the glass window, it is exposed to a plate inside the copier. The plate has been given a positive charge. A light removes the charge from the non-image image image areas of the plate. The image area remains positively charged a toner material is given a negative charge. It sticks to the positive image areas of the plate. A piece of paper is given a positive charge and passed over the toner plate. Because opposite charges attract, the positive charge is stronger than the negative charge. The toner is transferred to the paper. A heating element sets the toner on the paper permanently. Photographic printing is photographic printing. Photographic printing is often considered to be printing. Phot photography is often considered to be a printing technique. In photographic printing, light is projected through a plate onto a light-sensitive material. 
After processing, the images appear. Ink jet printing. Ink jet printing, another technique that does not easily fit into the other categories. During this process, ink jet sprays ink onto the substrate. A digital computer digital computer data controls the tiny nozzles that spray the ink droplets. Because there is no contact between the image carrier and the substrate, this process can be used to print on a variety of materials and in full color. Some fine artists use large format inkjet printers to reproduce their work. Laser printing. Laser printing is an increasingly popular form of printing. The most common laser printers work much like electrostatic copiers. They print onto regular paper. Many homes, schools, and businesses have these printers hooked up onto their desktop computers. Engineering the printing process. New technological advancements continue to be made in printing. Engineers work to solve problems and improve printing operations from start to finish. Engineers work to solve problems and improve printing operations from start to finish. Computers and integrated circuits are an important part of nearly all modern printing processes. Uh, they make the digital workflow, pro digital workflow possible. Digital technologies are changing how and when products are pr printed too. Printing on demand technologies allow products to be printed on an, an as needed uh, basis. Communicating through photography often Photographs can relate so many ideas and feelings. How the cameras work. Cameras, whether film or digital, have basic parts that allow a similar process to occur. When you take a picture, the photographic process is similar to how your eyes work. Eyes sense reflected light and transmit images to the brain. Cameras, whether film or digital, have basic parts that allow a similar process to occur. An aperture opening lets light from your subject onto the camera. Every camera must also have a shutter. A shutter is a device that controls the amount of time that light is allowed to reach the film or sensor. When the film or data is developed, you see a re reproduction of what the camera saw. The biggest difference between film and digital cameras is how the image is stored and developed. Using a film camera. A photographic film comes in a variety of formats and sizes to fit different cameras and applications. 
Despite the size or shape, all film contains one or more thin layers of a light sensitive material called an emulsion. Every film camera must also have a completely light tight space in which to store the film. Films are rated according to how sensitive their emulsion to light is. Using a digital camera. Digital cameras record images ele electronically instead of on a film. Digital camera store images as digital information. Photographic composition. Composition is the way in which all the elements in a photograph are arranged. Balance. Just as layouts should appear balanced, so too should the subjects in a photograph. Framing. A photo is sometimes more effective if the photographer uses a foreground image to frame a background image. Simplicity. Photographers should usually keep photos simple. Leading lines. A photographer often needs to lead the viewer into a picture by positioning a subject appropriately Leading lines can be used to pull the attention into the scene. Holography. Holography is the use of lasers to record realistic images of three-dimensional objects. Drafting the Universal Language. Drafting is the process of creating technical drawings that describe the size, shape, and structure of an object. Drawings can communicate ideas effectively and accurately. Drafting is often referred to as the universal language. A person who understands the basic symbols, lines, and rules can understand the message regardless of who communicates it. Multi-view drawings. Multi-view drawings show two or more different views of an object. The views are drawn at right angles, perpendicular to one another. The technique used is called orthographic projection. Often, multi-view drawings are called working drawings. Pictorial drawings. Pictorial drawings show objects as they appear to the human eye. Most people can easily understand a pictorial drawing because it looks quite realistic. There are three types of pictorial drawings. Isometric oblique, and perspective. Isometric is isometric. In an, isometric, in an isometric drawing, the object is tilted forward 30 degrees and rotated 30 degrees so that its edges form equal angles. Oblique. One perfect undistorted view of an object is shown in an oblique drawing. The other sides of the object are shown at an angle. If you draw a simple cube, you have just made an oblique drawing. Perspective. These drawings help people visualize how an object would appear in real life. Pattern development. A pattern is a full-size outline of an object. P 
patterns are created for many products made from flat materials that are folded, shaped, or combined into three-dimensional products. Computer-aided drafting. Drawings can be done on the computer much more easily. Computer-aided drafting is the use of a computer system to produce technical drawings and or design a product. In addition to two-dimensional drawings, CAD programs enable drafters to create three-dimensional representations. Wireframe. This type of modeling can also be thought of as stick figure modeling. Surface. A surface model can be compared to a piece of paper that is shaped into an object. Solid. Models that include the shape, area, and volume of an object are solid models. Wireframe modeling is usually used to show the amount of space between objects. Now 3D CAD drawings can be used to create real models using a process called rapid prototyping. Other names for this process are stereolithography and 3D printing. Section 7, Graphic Communications Quiz. Main Ideas. Graphic communications technology involves the sending of messages and other information using visual means. Principles of design help to determine a design's effectiveness. Steps in the creative design process include making thumbnail sketches, rough layout drawings, and, a fin and final forms. Printing, photography, and drafting are all forms of graphic communications. Number one, list the principles of design. Balance, proportion, emphasis, variety, rhythm, unity, and harmony. Number two, what is digital workflow? Digital workflow is the use of computers for each stage of the design process. It is also sometimes called desktop publishing. Number three, what principle is electrostatic printing based on? Electrostatic printing is based on the principle that opposite electrical charges attract, whereas like charges repel. Number four, what is the main difference between film cameras and digital cameras? A film camera and digital camera a film camera and a digital camera have a lens, aperture, and shutter. One camera records the image electronically and the other uses film. Number five, why is drafting referred to as the universal language? A person who understands the basic symbols, lines, and rules can understand the message regardless 
of who communicates it. Drafting is the process of creating technical drawings that describe the size, shape, and structure of an object. Number six, discuss the role of graphic communications in a free enterprise system. For example, how does advertising help business compete? Logos can be used to influence what stores you visit and products or services you buy. Photos can now be digitally altered. What ethical situations might arise? For example, in the wellness community, looking thin with flawless makeup in a luxurious environment is popular, but cannot be fake using digital altering to photos. Many people might find this imagery to um, be something that they aspire to have and might go to unhealthy and uh, maybe criminal links to achieve that. Number eight, you learned about the first three steps in the creative design process. What steps might come next? Revisions and feedback, then publishing, and then re more revisions and feedback and publishing. I think it's just a cycle. What do you think? Number nine, identify the type of printing processes used for various classroom items. Laser printing is the most popular 100% um, of the time. If there is any type of special type of printing, that would be done in an elective class. Depending on the budget, you'll see what kind of um, printer they can have. So thank you so much for joining me on this channel in studying about graphic communications. I'll see you in the next video. And if you like content like this, please hit like and also the subscribe button. That way you can be notified when more content like this is uploaded. Have a great day. Bye-bye.